Massachusetts, uh, using uh, using a platform like that to uh, to disseminate a message uh, that it excludes people and targets people. It was a passerby who saw the banner before police arrived, who took it down. It's a, it's a statement that that being under being white is under attack right now, and it's just not true. Um, you know that being white is such an advantage in the society and to suggest otherwise is just straight out racism. White people being under attack is a complete lie, so I had to tear down this sign that says it's okay to be white. Ah, the irony. Welcome back to another Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Remember to try to donate to me on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps me out a lot. Uh, really getting bogged down by the YouTube throttling machine here. Another Halloween has passed, and there was a plethora of freakouts, and not from costumes, though, as much as I tried to freak everybody out with my uh, banned thoughts, but from signs that say it's okay to be white. Oh. oh, wait, I almost forgot something here. Andrew says, in no way supports bigotry. That includes, but is not limited to, white supremacy, black supremacy, hard shell tacos, pineapple on pizza, taking up two parking spots at the same time, watching men's tennis, watching women's golf, watching men's tennis in place of women's golf while originally intending to watch the opposite gender in each respective sport. Also, Epstein didn't kill himself. I think that about covers it, no? Whether it was the media or college and university campuses, there were roughly 50 instances that I found of people and all these uh, outlets freaking out uh, because of these signs being considered racist, uh, hate speech, or anything in between that people could think of as a reason to freak out over these signs. Kind of sad, uh, kind of, uh, more than kind of sad about the times that we live in. Of course, the purpose of the signs is actually... Uh, to mock the media, to mock the freak out culture by putting forth something so simple and harmless, printing it out plainly on a white piece of paper that is ridiculous, ridiculous that anyone could find offensive. And sometimes a lot of thinking goes into these and sometimes very little thinking goes into these. And one of the ones, uh, one of the reasons that makes it so funny is because it's so simple. It's just a printed out pieces of pa piece of paper that says it's okay to be white and people freak out. There's no white supremacist agenda. It was predominantly pushed by 4chan, which is no direction, no clear leader. It's just an open forum. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was just started as a, as a way to freak people out. There's no uh, white supremacy dog whistling going on here. Not that not that there, were, there would have to be for people to freak, be freaking out over it, which is what we can see. It's literally just a case of let's see if we can get people to freak out over something stupid, and it works. I'm guessing it's teenagers or bored uh, young 20-somethings uh, going out and doing this. Personally, I don't understand why, you, why would you waste your time doing it. I guess because it's funny, but I'm 21 years old and I probably wouldn't bother wasting my time. Mount St. Vincent University says we need to do better. We do not condone hate speech in any format. Very true, very brave. Western Connecticut, Western Connecticut State University's president says in a letter to faculty and students online said he is shocked and saddened by outrageous behavior since they've worked so hard to be warm, diverse, and caring to all. Because the school is subjected to quote, random distribution of hate-filled flyers. Now as a piece of paper, a flyer is, uh, can you determine the intent behind it just because the media created the story that it was white supremacist like propaganda or whatever you want to call it and then people are just like the media says it therefore it's true also hate-filled flyers should be hyphenated doctor <laughs> channel 7 news boston reports it's okay to be white banner hanging over massachusetts pike sparks outrage a deputy premier from South Brisbane, Australia, we're all the way in the southeast corner of the flat earth. You're never going to stop me from fighting against racism. Thanks for visiting our fantastically multi multicultural community, though. So brave of her. Uh, so brave of all of them to be fighting for multiculturalism, even though, like, who cares? This man in Denmark calls it white supremacy propaganda. See, I wasn't wrong. After seeing it in Copenhagen, Copenhagen Denmark, it's all the way up there now. 
Usually propaganda is more than a five cent printout, but what do I know? I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy from Latvia. I think at best it's probably considered vandalism if we have to call it uh, a crime of some kind. According to this person, th those people putting up the sign you see here in Vancouver are white supremacists. They just know it how they just do. Trust them. They're anti-fascists. Okay, you don't, it couldn't possibly be the teenagers uh, being stupid and wanting to get a rise out of people. It's almost as if you can predict this stuff before it happens, before I even read it for the first time. The deep state's actually writing my scripts for me. I don't see my own scripts. Uh, they're putting in the propaganda that they want you to hear, not what I want you to hear. Police in Oklahoma City are investigating, quote, it's okay to be white flyers that were posted at the Oklahoma City University School of Law as a potential hate crime. Although authorities acknowledged that the flyers were, quote, not believed to be a threat and that posting them wasn't a crime because no property was damaged, so I guess I was wrong about that. The individual responsible is under investigation anyways. What is this, England now? You got <laughs> Policing people's speech online now? We're investigating this piece of paper. The government doesn't want you to see it. We've got to take it down. Just like Las Vegas. <laughs> Just like Las Vegas. Whoa, I can't. I was going to say something about Las Vegas, but that's strictly against YouTube's policies. Probably going to get demonetized just for saying Las Vegas. Quote, investigators are trying to determine his intent and whether the actions are a hate crime, reports the Associated Press. Law school dean Jim Ross said the OCU is intentional and relentless in supporting diversity and the hatred and exclusion, quote, will not be tolerated. So exclusionary to put up a piece of paper. Meanwhile, in another incident, a sign that read it's okay to be white was hung on the bridge over the highway in Massachusetts, which we mentioned earlier. A local Anti-Defamation League spokesman said the message, quote, excludes people and targets people. So exclusionary, so targeted, so, I don't know, Highway Patrol Act. <laughs> uh, so there you have it, people. This is where we're at in society. There's so little, little to worry about that we have to police people's speech online and we're freaking out over pieces of paper. You know what would happen if people just... Uh, hung up these pieces of paper and nobody cared, which is what should happen. Nobody would care. <laughs> Instead, they have to... Free oh my god, there's so many people that I, sh that I didn't show you that are just people's random Facebook and tweets uh, saying, whoa. Okay. <laughs> there's so many tweets and Facebook posts and Instagram posts that I didn't show you that people just freaking out. Uh, over these signs being on their campus or in their neighborhood. I'm going to beat up whoever it is that posted this if I find out. Uh, or stuff like, I can't believe there's still these racist people. It's just a piece of paper, and the piece of paper is meant to make you act like this. If you don't like it, just don't look. Just ignore it, and it'll go away. It's like T-Rexes, right? That's what we learned in uh, <laughs> that's what we learned in Jurassic Park. Just don't move, and the T-Rex won't know you're there. Didn't work out for uh, Newman whatever his name is, Wayne Knight. I'm surprised I remember that. Didn't work out for him. But it wasn't T-Rex, so what do I know about dinosaurs? What does anybody know about dinosaurs? They're fake. Getting a little off track here, but there's so little to worry about in our world that we have to freak out over, over these non-things, about these children uh, posting memes around the town. And, and it's not just uh, random people who are freaking out. It's everyone on college campuses, and college students want to be so heard and respected. People want to lower the voting age, and people don't say college students are coddled, and it's, it's not a super left-wing, super safe space <laughs> culture on campus, and then the majority of these are from campus. I can't believe that somebody would post this piece of paper on this door. I want to beat them up. It makes so much sense. College students are, are not coddled, you guys. They're, they're completely functioning adults. Lower the voting age. Lower it. It's, it's going to work out, I think. Sign hanging over the Mass Pike in Newton causing some controversy. It reads, it's okay to be white. Our cameras were there when a man ripped that sign down. 7 Steve Cooper is live in Newton with a story you'll only see on 7. Right, so the sign is down this afternoon, but not before it was seen by so many commuters out here on the Mass Pike earlier today, and it led one man who was on the pike with his daughter to pull over and take the sign down. And they purposely choose the Mass Pike to uh, draw attention uh, to people who are driving and, 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 and get, attract attention to themselves. 